fired up for no apparent reason. It's my day off, but I'm in here working because I love what I do. What's going on YouTube? This is RBI of RBI Crew 7. I hope everybody is having a great week thus far. Got a lot to go on on this video, but I'm just going to touch this subject real fast. I'm going to probably take a minute of my time. There has been a scammer type going on in the community we know about, Seahawks fan for life or whatever Corey's name is anymore. Um, to shed a little light on that, I've known Corey for two years. I've never thought of him to do anything of that caliber. I uh, Super nice wife, great kids, never thought that's good news for those of you that are look like it's you're out right now um, I have been in contact and I've been staying on his ass I'm gonna use that word and he is going to from what we got today and he has talked to men lovers too he's gonna ship make a new account ship all this stuff that these people that he somewhat may have took advantage from according to him but it looks like he sure as hell took advantage of them he's gonna ship them all that stuff to Nick and Nick's gonna ship to them we'll see how this goes but uh, if not Quincy, Illinois is an hour and a half drive. Corey, he'd say like this, boots to asses if this does not get taken care of because otherwise i got to step in. I will do everything in my power to watch these people not get taken advantage of because to me it disgusts me completely. But besides that, I'm not going to go and elaborate because I've been heated for the past 48 hours on behalf of this. And is that just my little camera or is that actually the thing? I can't tell. But uh, enough of that. I want to go on a positive note in this video because I want to personally thank Everybody who participated in trade night number eight, it was a fantastic time. If I could use more words, I would use them. I, it, unreal, uh, epic, could go on all day. I want to thank um, JW Spinney as always, as well as JL Fan, JL 1971, sorry, Scotty Too Hotty. I also want to thank uh, this film's not at Ray and Michael and Mr. Sam Kind for all of you making the trips to drive in. And a personal thank you to Sictifer and Michael for flying in. Um, on their dime. Personally appreciate all you guys. It was a blast. I wish we could do it more often, but Nationals, as we said, is four months away, so love all you guys that came in. Thanks again, everybody. Um, also, Bronco Man, Pete, everybody else, you guys, Magdorn, you guys are always here, so you guys know. You know what I mean, but uh, it was awesome, so like I said, I cannot wait. I'm super pumped, and today we did finalize our booth for Nationals. Pretty pumped about that. Looks like 564. I'll have the layout of that here soon, but we got our booth. Jerome Simpson catching touchdown. That's what he does, so you have to see the video. Um, so that's great. If you guys did not see the Harlem Shake in the shop, I'm sure you have. It was a blast. Definitely one of the funnest things we've had done in this shop, so kudos to that. Leading into a couple things, I've got some sick pickups I did pick up from trade night. Everybody's been waiting to see that. Not as much this time to pick up as I thought, but I was too busy having a good time, so I didn't do as many trades. Duh, did get some sweet mail on, and I did get my Beckett in yesterday. My BGS submissions came back in. Leading into BGS submissions, I've had some PMs. It's going to be $9 a card or $11 a card if it's an autograph. So $9 but plus $2 if it's an autograph is how it works out. Um, drop me a PM. I'm going to get back to those of you today. I need, listen to me, I need all submissions postmarked priority if you send it first class this week's fine by Monday of next week which will be the 18th because I leave on that Friday morning to go to Chicago to drop all the stuff off and do the Sun Times show and yes we're setting up I'll have more video on that um, so if you do want to submit drop me a PM or I can call you whatever but I need all those postmarked no later than next Monday the 18th priority at that point so it's here by Thursday at the latest if it comes in after that I can wait till they come here in May to get that done but that's the best I can do. Like I said, I will have more information on that. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think what else I had to go on besides showing off some awesome cards and talking about the great time. And uh, let's just show some cards. I think that'd probably be a good idea. Kind of running around the room on the other side. Uh, let's go Beckett submissions. I got my Beckett grades back yesterday. I'm going to do it at an angle here. This is pretty epic. Roger Clemens Fleur rookie grade in 9.5. Really impossible to get. Was super pumped about this grade. Don't ask him. Kind of four's got first dibs. We've already been talking. Kobe Bryant SP rookie came back in 9.5. Pretty sick. This one's a nice one. Edison Russell Blue Refractor Autograph BGS 9.510. Don't ask on this one just yet. Tim's got first crack on this. Dominic Wilkins rookie star grade in 8.5, which you say 5, but for that, that's pretty legit. What up, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Upper Deck, Young, Star, Young Guns, Rookie Grade in 9.5. This is pretty sick. Michael Jordan, Refractor, got came back in 9.5. Just tried my first vintage cards, Norvan Brocklin, came back in 
and a pretty sick 9510 Blaine Gabbert. But I do have one more big card to show, and I'll wait to show that guy. On to some set pickups in the mail. Been really adamant on this. Picked up the Chris Hamburger. And in the same week was able to get this Marshall Falk. But I, I'm doing this Hall of Fame set. I'm down to Shannon Sharp and Ed Sable for 2011. And for 2010, I'm down to Dick LeBeau. Um, the guys on eBay on the Sharps have been wanting way too much money. I'm not going to overpay for one. And I will wait this far for that. And then here's the Marshall Falk. I love it. And Michael pointed this out. He had the common courtesy to sign the card and knock over the 2011 authentic signature, which is pretty awesome. So pretty epic there. And on to some pickups from Trey Knight. This one's touched many hands, but uh, Michael did trade this to me, and uh, what he got in return in the deal is pretty cool where that card's going to go. That's all I'm going to say about that. Also got this from Michael, a Schmidt Longoria A-Rod triple autograph jersey. Got another card in the deal, but uh, immediately Jayhawk got that, which I was happy to see that. A nice Marshall Falk Prestige Auto. Actually, all these cards came from Michael. I'm showing off. We had a pretty, pretty big trade, Michael. It was fun. We need to do it more often. I like trading. Trading's fun. And a pretty sick Ray Rice logo patch rookie duel. Uh, this is pretty cool. Cardi Skrimski, number to five out of the new Tribute Red, or 2012. David Wright, autograph gold to 50. I got this from, this film's not yet rated Michael, as well as this Goldschmidt auto. We did a nice little trade there. Then I picked up an Earl Campbell autograph patch, number to 25. King Felix auto, I got this from Justin J. Beast, or whatever you change your YouTube stars and Moonbrawl now, I think it is, Justin. AJ Green Auto to 25. Alden Smith Auto. Rookie. Nice Santana Moss patch auto to five. And these two right here, I'm pretty pumped. Nice Kyle Real three color patch auto. I don't know if this upgrades to the one I have. And then this is, I think, awesome. It's 82 of 99 jersey number. 82 of 99. Um, gave a nice pretty penny to get this, but I'm thrilled about it. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it just yet. I'm going to hang on to it. On to the last three things. I got this in the mail at trade night. I got this on blowout. Uh, I think it's already going to be gone this week. Got a couple guys very interested into it. One of them's a big Colston guy. So 101 booklet of Marquise Colston. Pretty sick. I hate the fact that I can't really find cases for that. My big grade. Big grade. How about a BGS 9.5 Oscar DeVeres Gold Refractor rookie. Pretty epic there. Was happy. And the big pickup at trade night was this guy. I gave a pretty awesome trade to the guy, so he really couldn't turn it down. Number to 99, RG3 Contenders, rookie ticket auto. Number 6599, pretty sharp on card. So those are the pickups, the main ones. Obviously, I did get more. Hey, there's there's mail going out to you guys. There's cards there. There's Beckett there. There's papers falling over. So I am I at for time here. I can't tell. Oh, we're good. It's about normal timing for a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just wrapping up a couple things. Again, thanks to all those guys who came in. I can't even thank you enough. Trade night number nine, T and nine will be May 11th. Like I said, BGS Beckett will be here. A representative will be here. Ticket submissions. I am going to do a huge, huge, I'm trying to do a Michael there. Uh, BGS submission order, and the price will obviously be cheaper because I'm going to uh, negotiate a price for a big, rather large package. So I will have the details on that probably about a month leading into that. And um, that's that. If you want to submit some stuff now, I'm going to be sending back PMs today with the final information, what you guys need, and my pickups and my sets. So if you can find me, I need some Dick and Me set, Dick LeBeau in the 2010. I also need Shannon Sharp and Ed Sable. Uh, the Dick LeBeau on eBay that I've been watching is not the one from the set. It's an IP, so I've obviously I check it every day like five times a day. So that's what I'm trying to complete right now. If you guys had any leads, please let me know. I'd, I'd give up just about anything to get it except my dog or my fiancé or my scion. Neil, you can have Neil. You guys can have Neil. That, that I'd give up to get some Dick. Dick LeBeau, that is, in my set. So hope you guys enjoyed. Again, be mindful with who you're trading with. Uh, don't believe everybody what they say. Feel comfortable about it. If you feel any signs that it just doesn't seem right, don't do it. Uh, this is a tight niche community. I've been here for five years now, myself and Neil. We have seen some outstanding people pull some scummy shit. So it, it, any day somebody can go bad, and that's a scary thing to say. But there are some incredible people, some incredible friendships you can meet on, make on here. And that's what this is about. We stick together. We're a solid rock. And uh, we get through times like this. And like I said, I think we're going to be able to get to this one. And it's going to be made right. Because I got boots to asses, the rock says. For Corey, if you're watching this. I'm pissed. I'm truly pissed. And that's the bottom line. Because RBI said so.